and for Clinton today. We'll go to this left side, third row, Clinton. Bob Holliday, WRL.com, Clinton. Duke technically only returns four starters, but you have a lot of guys, including yourself, who got a lot of playing time last year. How do you see the outlook for the offense? Yes, sir. I do. We lost a, a you know good amount of our starters from last season, but I'm very confident in the group that we have coming back. You know, thankfully I had a couple of starts last year to kind of get my feet wet and just kind of build momentum going into this season. But I think we have a lot of great depth at all positions, uh, great leadership on the offensive line up front with three guys in the middle coming back, um, and then a lot of guys who have played some football for us. You know, you got a great running back tandem and Britton Brown and Theon Jackson. And then you, know, you got some young guys that are able to fill in there as well. You got Noah Gray returning at tight end, who's had some good playing time as well. And you know those guys behind them are working hard as well. So you know, got Jake Marweedy, Mark Birmingham, and Mari Ellis. And then you know we got a, a deep group of receivers as well. A lot of young guys with a lot of potential. So you know we're excited about you know how we kind of progress this offseason, and we're, we're looking forward to kind of seeing where things take us this year. Quinn, we're going to take the microphone to the right, third row, right at the aisle. Morris Davis Spectacular Magazine. Last year you were uh, primarily used in a running role, um, and then this year you guys are going to have a lot of young uh, wide receivers be stepping up. How do you expect to uh, increase your uh, ability in the passing? Yeah, you know, I think one of the nice things, you know, about losing that many starters on offense is that you know, the guys that are now coming into starting roles are guys that I've been practicing with the last few years. So I think, you know, we've been able to build a good rapport, and you know I think you know, just kind of through our offseason work and through the spring, you know we've definitely taken a lot of strides in getting on the same page and building our chemistry. Um, so I think you know we'll definitely continue to to work on that, enhance that as we get closer to training camp. But I think you know we've already kind of begun that groundwork, and, and you know we're in a good spot heading into camp. Quentin to your right, first row. Quentin Dan Tortora, Wake Up Call DT.com. David Cutcliffe had said you can either be handed the reins or you can take them. How have you taken them, in your opinion, as you go into this season? Yeah, I mean, thankfully, or hopefully, I've earned kind of the respect of my teammates over the last four years, just kind of, you know, the role that I've occupied. Um, but I think, hopefully, um, you know, I've taken the range, just kind of taken a more vocal leadership role. I think, you know, as I started to play more in a supplemental role the last couple seasons, kind of took more leadership of the team and more a more vocal standpoint. And uh, just trying to lead by example, just always doing the right things, it's the fullest of my abilities. And I'm you know, just kind of taking the reins of the offense, and. You know, just really taking on leadership role with a lot of the young guys stepping into roles. You know, we've got a lot of guys that, you know, some couple of freshmen that may end up playing for us eventually this year. So um, just kind of really try to take them under my wing, get them to understand how, you know, we expect things to be run offensively here, how I would like to see, you know, maybe a certain route run or something like that just to kind of build our timing. And so we're on the same page. So really just trying to take those guys under my wing and just kind of be there for them if they have any kind of, you know, questions and transition. Quentin Paul in the center aisle all the way up to the right. Hey, Quentin, Steve Wiseman, Durham Herald Sun. Uh, Dion, you had a breakout here last year. You got hurt, you got the extra playing time. Showed you deal with a variety of things on the field. Like that. How important is he going to be in your office this year, not just in the running game, but pass the game, line up different places? Sorry, your question was about Britain specifically? About Dion. Dion, okay. Yeah, you know, I think Dion showed he's a very versatile weapon for us. You know, he had a lot of uh, success through the ground, on the ground, and through the air. Um, so you definitely, I think, he's a guy we'll use versatile in our offense. Um, so I think him and Britt would be a great tandem for us, uh, just kind of building on their strengths. I think they're very similar players. They both are, you know, game breakers and playmakers that can take, you know, a one-yard route into a touchdown. You know, I think as you saw with Deion, he took a, a hitch into a touchdown, like a 70-yard touchdown last year. So I think, you know, you get them the ball in the right situation, uh, I think they'll definitely, they'll definitely know what to do with it. Back to your left, third row with Bob. Bob well, Holiday again. Right. In your start against Baylor, you ran, you ran for 83 yards. Um, do you feel like you can get, with, with you and the dynamic duo that you talked about, do you feel like you can get more uh, energy into Duke's running game this year? This is a two-part question. You were around the 50% mark in terms of your passing accuracy. What are your uh, objectives this year in, in finding more receivers? Yes, sir. So I think, you know, I believe your first question was about kind of how I can add to the running game a little bit. Um, so I think, you know, you definitely want to lean on those two guys, for sure, Britton and Dion, and some of the younger guys as well that step into some roles. You know, you've got Mateo Durant, you've got um, Mark Hubbard as well, that'll also get some good playing time for us. So, but, you know, aside from that, I think I can just add to be a good supplementary piece for them. I think, you know, I've, I've been able to have success on the ground. Um, I think that's a part of our offense and something certainly I, you know, will execute. Um, and then, I'm sorry, I forgot your second part of the question. Passing, yeah, okay, yes. Um, so I think, you know, for me, it's just kind of getting more in-game reps uh, with that and just kind of, again, 
continuing to build rapport with the receivers. Um, I think, I think you know, definitely it's something I want to improve upon the completion percentage. I think as I get more comfortable and as I kind of you know, learn maybe how to dissect coverages in a certain way or something like that, or just kind of get more familiar, familiarity with the plays that we're running, I think that'll naturally happen. Uh, but you know, definitely very confident in my ability to pass, and you know, I think you know, our offensive game will will continue to kind of thrive on a nice balanced approach. Quentin, your last question back with Dan in the first row to your right. Quentin, you just uh, spoke about the passing game. Just what you can say about some of these receivers that we had in, a lot of freshmen and sophomores and whatnot, a lot of youth on this team. What have you seen from the wide receiver core, and what can you say about your weapons you have this year? Definitely. I think you know, our wide receivers are versatile uh, and get a lot of hype as well. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, six four plus, so they'll be great targets for me. But, um, you know, we've got Aaron Young coming back. who started the season really well against Army. Um, and then unfortunately, you know, wasn't able to stay healthy um, through through some part of the season. Um, but he's coming back, he'll be leading that group. You know, you've got guys that did get some great playing time behind him as well. Um, you know, you got Jake Bobo, Scott Bracey, Damon Philia Johnson. Um, so, you know, you've got a lot of guys that have gotten some playing time and that are ready to kind of step into those larger roles. And then you've got you know, some young guys as well that just came in. Uh, Daryl Harding and Eli Pankle, they've had a great spring, great off season. And, you know, really encouraging to kind of see their progress throughout the spring. And, you know, definitely hope that you know they can kind of continue to build on that and they'll be able to help us out in the fall. Quint, thank you. We will switch places with Kobe. Kobe, if you would step on up and we'll spend a few minutes with you.